Well, good morning. Boy, I've been up for a while. What a series of storms last night. But due to all the storms, you know, our local town, uh, our veggie vegetarian uh, let everyone know he'd be in the office today. So I was fortunate. I gave him a call last night, showed him the video. So I got him here first thing, and boy, what a blessing he is. He got his PhD in plant methodology, or actually it was plant mythology, I'm sorry, it was plant mythology. So I was able to get him, he came here at 5 in the morning, and um, so me and Dr. Pickles, we kind of started with the bell peppers. I think we saved him. Here, let me show you. Doesn't that look different than the other video? I tell you, that Dr. Pickles, he's amazing. It isn't every town has a local veggie vegetarian on call. I don't know what I'd do without a veggie vegetarian to support me on the bucket garden. So as you can see, we got these bell pepper plants braced. Oh, look at that bell pepper still there. So who knows? He fed the plants some Happy Meals. So we'll see if they kind of, I know they're scared. It was a rough night. We'll see if they pull out of it. But the thing is, my banana peppers. Yeah, we got them upright, but... I mean, they took one for the team, for Team Bell Pepper. They were really, I don't know, they're going to do it. So I harvested some of the bell peppers in case they don't make it. But yeah, they took one for Team Bell Pepper. You can see it's, we got some breakage. But... He gave it a happy meal too, so we'll see if these bell peppers survive. And then he inspected the rest of the garden since he was making the call. And I didn't notice it last night in the rain and storm, but I did have some issues due to the storm with uh, cherry tomato plants. And Dr. Pickles introduced me to a, a new radical procedure. It's really gaining popularity in the bucket garden area. And it's now becoming the new golden standard. So this golden standard that Dr. Pickles says a lot are using is called bucket rotation. It's radical. So I gave him a hand and we very carefully rotated the buckets 360 degrees. And the whole concept is then when it reaches for the sun, it will grow and straighten itself out and kind of undo the damage the wind did. So hats off to Dr. Pickles and that bucket rotation process. I, that, that, that really is going to make bucket gardening more robust and th everyone will be adding that to their value stream when they start looking at bucket gardening. So other than that, I, I, I think thumbs, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. So and yeah, to my surprise what I thought was weeds, those are actually radishes, and I, I, I got, I picked a few. They're different looking though, you know, not like a typical radish. So why Dr. Pickles was here, I was showing him, and he's going to check the plant DNA. He thinks that 
might be related to the weed family. And boy, I, I sure hope not because maybe not in Colorado, but in Iowa, I think I need to have a special permit to be growing weeds in bucket. Can't have, I don't think, I need a special permit to grow weeds. But we'll see. Well, I'm going to take you in, show you the bell peppers that I took just in case. Not bell, but banana peppers. But yeah, see, doesn't that look a lot better? Boy, these banana pepper plants are really loaded up. I hope this radical procedure we did this morning will we'll save them. I'm really hoping the bell peppers make it. Boy, for one year I would like to be able to say I grew bell peppers in a five gallon bucket. I got one, it's green, but it's supposed to be red. We'll see. Well, that's it. It's been a very long morning. I'm going to upload this video. Relax, rest my feet. And um, after I had a chance to recuperate from assisting Dr. Pickles on this emergency call, on my bucket garden, I'll go out and do the walkabout on my bus. We'll see you then. Bye. So here's the bell peppers that I picked. You know, the, well, like I said, they took the blunt of the wind and took one for team bell pepper. So they're a little little, you know. I think I can still get some pork sausage stuffed in them and cheese. And to my surprise, yes, those were radishes. I could have swore I've been watering weeds all summer long. But they're definitely radishes. And then my kohlrabi. Both of them, look at the size of that. Yeah, there was two. There's the other one. But man, I was hungry this morning, so I got out the tater peeler and peeled it and salt and pepper shaker and had me some kohlrabi breakfast. Nothing tastes better than French press coffee, kohlrabi, fresh out of the garden, sliced with a little salt. So there you have it. So later this week, Maybe this weekend even yet. These bell peppers will end up on the grill. And they'll have pork sausage and cheese stuffed in them. <gasps> Yum! Alright. Let's get this loaded. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.